Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can actually save some money with your Mac. Now you may think that, you know, when you've got your computer and it's always running, that you're going to be take, eating up a lot of energy. Uh, but you can actually set up your Mac right so that it doesn't take as much energy as, you know, it does when you first get it. So a couple things that, you know, seem might seem pretty obvious uh, that you might just be overlooking is when you're not using your Mac, you know, just go up to the Apple menu and click on sleep, you know, I mean, it's just as, it's as simple as that, just little things like that are going to save you a lot of energy over time, you know, uh, I'm guessing a lot of people just don't put their Macs to sleep and you're saving, or you're taking up a lot of electricity when it's just sitting there. So to further save energy, you're going to go into system preferences, so that's also found in the Apple menu and then under system preferences. So when you're in when you're in system preferences, just go under the energy saving tab under the hardware category. And here you're going to see some options. Now you can set how, how long your computer goes to sleep after. So I have it set to three hours. Now you can set it down to all the way to one minute. So if you walk away after a minute, your computer's going to be sleeping. Now that's going to save a lot of energy. Um, probably You probably don't want that unless you're like concerned about security. Uh, and you want your computer to you know kind of lock itself after a minute um, and you can also change the display sleep time all the way up to never um, and never letting your display go to sleep may shorten its life it warns you right there so I usually set mine around between 5 and 15 minutes uh, just because it saves quite a bit of battery or not battery but a power that way and then putting the hard disk to sleep when possible not only saves your hard disks and they'll you know have a longer lifetime but it also saves energy because that disk isn't having to spin in there constantly and then you can have your screen automatically reduce brightness before it goes to sleep so right there you're going to save a little bit of power you know not a lot but it's enough that it makes a little bit of a difference and you can click on schedule right here and you're going to get some more options to start up or wake your computer or put it to sleep or something like that um, restart shut down every day or weekends or any day of the week here at certain times so if you want your computer to just shut down at a certain time every day um, you know in case you leave and you forget to shut it down and you have the schedule set up you'll know it'll shut down at that certain time every day and you know you're not gonna be wasting energy let's say you're gone for like a weekend and you forget to shut your computer down well if you have that set up you know it'll shut down and you won't be taking power all weekend so that's pretty nice now I don't have a MacBook to show you with it here, but on uh, laptops you do get some more settings uh, with the battery and things like that. And you can tweak the battery to save even more power than it normally would to you know, squeeze a little more battery life out of your MacBook. So those are some pretty handy tips and uh, I don't know how many people know about these. I'm guessing a lot of people overlook them when they buy their Mac because they just leave everything default and it's easy to just forget that those settings are there. Yeah. So those are some quick tips on how to save energy with your Mac and, you know, maybe draw a little bit less and maybe you don't have to pay as much at the end of the month for your power bill. So I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.